Hi friends, welcome to part 2 to my background series. I'm trying new lighting and my big camera, so this would be a little bit experimental from the filming standpoint. But I hope you'll forgive me. So today I want to talk about another background technique for mixed media which I'm calling lifting. I'm sure it's not official name but whatever. And the first and most important part of this is to create a non-porous surface. I'm using gesso for this but you can use acrylic paint, glue or something like that. And this is again just a piece of cardstock, so it will warp, but it's just to show you, so it doesn't matter. Now we need to put on some color and I'm using my favorite instant play colors in dark blue, light blue, dark green and purple. But you can use whatever you have. You can use watercolors, acrylics, watercolor pencils or ink pads or whatever you have. But if you're using acrylics you have to work really quickly because if the acrylics dry you won't be able to lift them so it's always safer to use something water soluble. Now you can let it dry if you're using water soluble. But if you're using acrylic, you have to do the technique right away. So I have these two stencils. They're both by the Crafters Workshop. And this one is kind of delicate, so I'm not sure it will work. But I'll certainly try. And all that's left to do is to take a baby wipe, dampened cloth or paper towel or something like that. I'm using a baby wipe but it's set in my stash for a while so I'm gonna give it a spritz of water. And now you'll just lift the color up you don't have to do the whole pattern you can you can choose some part and here you go I really like using this gouache in a stick because it's not as easy to lift up as watercolors and when it dries you don't have to be as careful to work around it and now you can do whatever you want with them you can outline the patterns you can add some glitter you can distress the edges put some doodles and quotes on it I'm gonna take my micron pen for example and granted I'm a terrible doodler but I'll just go for it
please comment share and give me a like if you did and if you'd like to please subscribe i'll see you next time and remember to be weird it's so much fun bye